Echinacea purpura, purple coneflower. These plants are native to North America. The Indians use them as a medicine. Uh, it's a common ornamental plant. People plant it because it makes a pretty flower. We've had uh, drought conditions here lately, so mine are beginning to turn brown. We're in the middle of July here, or at the end of July here in Missouri. I planted these uh, echinacea plants uh, about six or eight years ago at least, and uh, one thing I like about echinacea is they keep coming back. You don't have to plant them every year. It's a perennial, so they come back, and they also propagate. Uh, they, they spread uh, by seeds, and uh, as a result of these that I've planted here, every now and then I find echinacea growing other, other parts of my yard, like this one over here as a volunteer. Cone, purple cone flower. There are several varieties of echinacea. All of them have, all of them that I know of have medicinal value. You use the root for the medicine. It is an immune system uh, herb. It supports the immune system. Echinacea is also a good plant at attracting bees, pollinators. It also attracts birds while, uh, who like their seeds. So it attracts beneficial insects to your garden. The most useful part of the plant for herbal use is the root. The root has to be at least three or four years old to use it. So if you want to use echinacea as a medicine, you better get it planted now because um, it has to grow for several years. You harvest the root in the fall and you dry the root. And I don't have uh, time here to go into all the uses of echinacea because they are many. Uh, you can actually even use it externally for uh, eczema, psoriasis, but it is most widely known as an immune system herb. It supports the immune system. It doesn't have a strong antibiotic uh, effect like garlic does. Uh, the way that it actually works is by making, it's an immune system modulator. It makes your immune system work more efficiently. There's been a lot of medical research proving this. I recommend that you look it up, find out what the many uses for echinacea are. It is a beautiful plant, as you can see. It flowers over the entire, uh, just about the entire summer and fall. Uh, so, so it is a great plant to grow in your yard. And if you're gonna grow plants in your yard, you might as well grow something that you can use as a medicine someday. You might need it. Uh, it is uh, most commonly used to combat flu and colds. Uh, it's not recommended that you take echinacea more than about two months continuously, and it won't hurt you to do that, but the problem is uh, they claim that it will lose its effectiveness if you use it continuously. So I'd recommend you use it only for about two months. Use it when you need it, but if you, if you start taking echinacea root at the um, onset of a cold or flu, it helps your immune system to fight it off more quickly. All of the plant can be used, but the root is the part that is strongest in its herbal medicinal value.